the front line. This is the dead zone. Barely alive or in a box is how you head home. This is the front line. This is the life that I chose. I thought I told you motherfuckers to lock and load. Yeah, they said that the success of my music was theoretic. But my revenge is sweet enough to murder diabetics. Eugenics, Proctor and Gamble, credit racial science. Couldn't produce a more aggressive intellectual giant. Nephilim burium with the bullets left in them. My heart is blacker than the children. A Thomas Jefferson, blacker than back in the days of the tar and feathering. A cancer is endocrine, the eagle ass American, the hatchet and the sticks, the fascist emblem, you could call it conspiracy theory, I don't give a motherfuck, you could get your motherfuck, national security's a cold word for cover up, hold that down, I look at character, never let the color get to you, I got white revolution, that means like Muslims and Listen, you better fulfill your responsibility to be free. That is your duty as an American fucking citizen. It's your civic duty. You are supposed to stand up for your damn constitution. And listen, when in when in fighting freedom, never question whose duty it is to go to freedom's defense because it's everybody's. It's not no military thing or anything like that. It's a question of fucking morals. Somebody, you know, treat people the way they treat you, the golden rule, the one to others. Some, I mean, see somebody walking down the street, say hello to them. How are you? You fucking help people. I mean, these people, anybody following Satan, un unfortunately, I had to leave a very dear relationship that I had with somebody because I found out she worshipped Satan. I mean, that's a little too much for me. She's a damn fine girl. If you guys been following me, you know the chick Flora from, Night, from Nightwish. I'm very good friends with her. And I mean, we're still communicating, but I just can't fucking have that kind of relationship with someone. I mean, I walk around with this sitting by me all the time. I can't have someone of Satan. I mean, why would you pick? Why? I just don't get it. I mean, I could even, even Valhalla. Hey, I show respect to them too, man. Valhalla, uh, I could, I could buy that. I mean, shit, you folks hear me posting Man on War all the time. That's all they sing about. It's a heaven for warriors, for soldiers. It's not hell. People know they're going to hell. They know they sold their soul. They don't repent. They don't ask forgiveness. They, they just don't care. I don't get it. I guess maybe it's the fluoride, the chemicals in the air, I have no idea. All I know is we need that man in our life. I'll leave you with this quote. Which I, by one of my, my favorite people in history. The man, Martin Luther King Jr. And it's just this short part of I have a dream. That one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. Because we even haven't even had a fucking chance to live it out. I mean, you folks, you thought things were good back in the fucking 50s and 60s. Even the freaking 90s. I mean, shit, we got through the crack epidemic and the fucking heroin and the cocaine. All the drugs and shit. There was fucking hope. And now look. All gone again. The shit that's happening around the world. Sounds in the sky. Sound like horns.
Yeah, those are trumpets. Those are in the Bible. Those are the gates of hell opening. People better repent. Better pray to that man every day. Don't ask for stupid shit like fucking money. Because what are you going to do with fucking money when, this, when the economy collapses? Can't take money with you when you die, folks. You don't need it. All I know is you don't want to be in a place down there. So, folks, permanent patriot with some inspiring words. We must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. Martin Luther King Jr. wasn't the first one to say that. Benjamin Franklin said, we must all hang together or assuredly we will hang separate. Two warnings, two different times in history, basically saying the same thing. And myself, along with all the other truthers, and just people who love America and freedom, are screaming the same thing. See, back then, they weren't screaming this. These were just quotes, just people talking. Now, we're up here screaming this to people, yelling and swearing, and this is not how it's supposed to be, folks. The level of manipulation is incredible. The technology, the ancient artifacts they've hidden from us. There's no telling where we should be as a species right now. Nobody really knows, because they have fucking ruined it for everyone. I just don't see how people would rather go with Satan. Let me... Let me give up my soul for eternity for a few years of wealth in this life over eternal bliss with God in heaven? Seriously? Why would you do that? I have, I can't begin to tell you how much faith I have lost this year alone but at the same time how much I've gained it seems like every time I lose it all and I'm like there's there's nothing else I can do there's no fucking hope something always comes there's always something there to change my mind about that fact people need to question everything when somebody tells you something, take their word for it, have some faith in, in what they're telling you, more likely than not, you know, the, the more ridiculous this story sounds, probably a very good chance that it's true. Uh, recently, I've, I've been one of those people who, I didn't believe any of this stuff. I wasn't a, you know, American patriot, per se. And, uh, you know, the stuff that they spoon feed you every day is just to keep you dumbed down. The sports, I mean, folks, they keep you at work every day, working a meaningless job where you struggle to get by every day. You get out of work and come home. You just want to drink a beer and watch some sports. And even that's manipulated. I mean, you don't know what is going on nowadays. There's no moral leaders in this fucking country. There's nobody in Congress, in, in government period, standing up for the people. I'm afraid Ron Paul was our last true American. And God says, you know, Noah, he had to wipe that everyone out because everyone's souls were corrupted. Everyone had become corrupted except for Noah. 
I see us going that same direction. And just like he said, as in the days of Noah, so it will be in the end times. Videos have changed my life in their own ways. I can't even express or find the words to tell you how. But Ray Lewis is probably, uh, I probably, you know, actually first looked at life and what it all meant and, you know, the big picture, I guess, was because of him. And I, I used to be a sports fanatic. I followed Ray Lewis his entire career. Uh, I don't know, the, the guys had, I mean, everybody's had their ups and downs. But, you know, I just want to, there's so much more I want to say. And people just need to be there for each other. You guys have to pray to God. That's the problem. He had his hand holding the evil away from us. His hand over us. Holding back evil. No, nope, everyone's praying to Satan now. Holding up those damn devil signs. Every fucking where you look. The rappers, the actors, the fucking congressmen, the senators, the government. Fucking everybody. With these damn devil signs. How come I don't see any signs of God? Has nobody chosen God? Has everyone sold out for a few measly fucking dollars, which don't mean a damn thing? What the fuck are you going to do with your $500 million when the economy collapses, moron? You just sold your soul for nothing. Everyone out there, you fucking repent. You do it now. You pray to that man upstairs every day. You tell him you want him in your life. You want your soul filled with his spirit. You want him to keep all that devil crap away from you. Tell him to protect you from that crap. It's garbage. You want change in the world. Tell him you want change. Tell him you want to be the change. You want to help others. You want to see the country do good. You want to see the world do good. Folks, when it comes down to it, it ain't got a damn thing to do with religion or race or what color you are. No. We are all made in the image of God. We are all one. And it seems pretty odd that every time we get to this point in history, no matter how many times the earth has started over, it always seems like it's these Islamic cocksuckers that come and fucking ruin it. Why is that? Islam is not a religion. You need to say hi to your neighbors. You guys need to interact more. Fucking talk to each other. Did you folks ever think that, you know, if you knew somebody, there's no reason for you guys to argue. In fact, it would be a lot easier to solve problems. So instead of just, you know, when you come out of your door, giving your neighbor the ne next door the fucking finger. Jeez, folks. Fucking wave. Say hello. Good morning. Good to see you. How are you? Be a fucking human being. I hope everybody can use these videos I mean I hope I hope they inspire how they inspired me I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for these videos I just I just want the world to be a, a good place for everybody to live and it's these cocksuckers at the top the power elite in control who are manipulating the whole damn world where people could just be going on about their day minding their own business folks I, I would be doing that every day. I'd still be watching sports. Who knows where my life would be. Every single day. 
It is these people. It is this system. It is this news. It is these people that put me in an emotional state and an attitude that I don't want to be in. But I know I'm helping people out. I know people are getting the message. I just think a lot more people need to be getting it. Check out the videos. God bless and carry on. Get what you knew. Welcome to the motherfucking battlefield. battlefield. I two-step with Lucifer, and ever since I started dancing, I walked the fine line between Einstein and Charles Manson. Starved as famine with my stomach growling, like someone shouting a hundred thousand times louder than thunder pounding. Fuck around and I'll punch your mouth in. I'm king of the mountain with my life in this project like it's public housing. Counting on the fact I firebomb entire songs and won't stop till the world's inside my palm like Viacom. Diabolic, I'll supply the higher wattage via fiber optic wire till you acquire some kind of knowledge. Cause life made me grow wise. Than old timers, hot headed like the ghost rider behind a slow driver. Soul survivor, flowing live is second nature, so don't test. It's best to save your breath like respirators. I throw a punch at your ribs that gives your lungs asthma and hash. You're pouring out your guts faster than Dutch masters. Drunk bastard, past the point of no return like Denzel, tricking Ethan Hawk into smoking sherm. Judgment overturned, holding court like Mordecai. Immortalized when I make statues bleed and portraits cry. I'll go to war for mine, rebel army, guard the border. I'm in the trenches barking orders like I'm Sergeant Slaughter Pray to Jesus H for mercy and plead your case Cause on the front lines you're dead the second that you see my face This is the front line, this is the dead zone Barely alive or in a box, that's how you head home This is the front line, this is the life that I chose I thought I told you motherfuckers to lock and load This is the front line, this is the dead zone Barely alive or in a box, that's how you head home This is the front line, this is the life that I chose I thought I told you motherfuckers to Lock and load. Yeah. They said that the success of my music was theoretic But my revenge is sweet enough to murder diabetics Eugenics, Procter & Gamble, credit, racial science Couldn't produce a more aggressive intellectual giant Nephilim burium with the bullets left in them My heart is blacker than the children A Thomas Jefferson Blacker than back in the days of the tar and feathering A cancerous endocrine The eagle ass American The hatchet and the sticks The fascist emblem You could call it conspiracy theory I don't give a motherfuck You could get your mother Fuck. National security's a cold word for cover up Hold that down, I look at character Never let the color get to ya I got white revolutionaries like Muslims in Chechnya Percussion dumping like the Russian mafia over ya But even they know what it's like when you fighting for Svoboda So whether Slavic or Islamic Vodka, gin tonic, drunken fantasies are cool son But here's the grim logic You niggas wanna play industry and start to be rich Until they fuck you for millions Like Paul McCartney's bitch My lions live inside a box like Jumanji Sick niggas that will stab you up like Indira Gandhi So never desecrate the space on which I meditate My thoughts rip through tank armored metal plates And start to resonate to the spot where Moses caused the sea to separate The place that the prophet Muhammad started to levitate The exact moment that Jesus rose set awake And Sid Harder became the Buddha that regenerates Half a bar over but I bring it home colder than dead soldiers So controller, holder of knowledge, so fuck Dianetics I'm like the whole library in Canada it with Anunnaki genetics. This is the front line. This is the dead zone. Barely alive or in a box is how you head home. This is the front line. This is the life that I chose. I thought I told you motherfuckers to lock and load. This is the front line. This is the dead zone. Barely alive or in a box is how you head home. This is the front line. This is the life that I chose. I thought I told you motherfuckers to lock and load. Yeah, motherfucker. Immortal check dig. Diabolic. This is the front line, the people first one time, <laughs> 32, and a little something, <laughs> 33 degrees motherfucker, go home and figure it out. <laughs>